Okay, Chase. Okay. okay, perfect. Hey guys, and welcome back. It's your host, Aki. And today we have two awesome guests all the way from California. Well, all the way, we mean actually from California because we're all sitting at home. Man, uh, we have Jordan Menard, a Facebook king. And obviously, people that don't know him, he has done a lot of things with info products. And we'll get more into that after introdu introduction. And, and we have also Chase from Pay Certify, a payment solution that you must use. And um, yeah, how are you guys today? Doing good, doing good. Doing good, man. Yeah, how's, how's everything in California right now? It's nice and sunny out here, so that's good. <laughs> I, can, I can definitely see that on, uh, on Jordan's, from Jordan's window, where you said a little bit less, but <laughs> yeah. at least the weather is better than here in Amsterdam, so. Um, <laughs> It's like anyway. 75 degrees, but no one can go outside, so it's bittersweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We're talking degrees here, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good. Pretty Fahrenheit. Good. I get I, 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 I'm with you on this one. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I think U.S. is the only, one, only country in the world that actually really like, still use it, right? Uh, that does make sense, the United yeah. States being like... We're always the last stubborn. <laughs> Yeah, just not changing <laughs> on it. Whole world uses metric. Yeah, also with Miles. Well, Miles also like uh, UK and stuff, but still, anyway. Uh, guys, we're, we're going to go over a few awesome things. Uh, I know you guys have been in the industry for a while and doing different things. Uh, the, the main topic of today is how, how the e-commerce guys and obviously the affiliates and people working in affiliate marketing can use virtual credit cards and have a good payment system with awesome support, better than Stripe. And uh, yeah, let's just go over it, man. So actually we have Chase who's going to start off with a short presentation. Uh, Chase has been in, in the payment industry for almost, for almost 20 years now, if I'm correct. So correct me if I'm wrong, please, Chase. Uh, right, yeah. And, and he's, going to he's going to tell us a little bit more about Pay Certify, what the main advantages are, and how you, and then afterwards we're going to have Jordan who's going to switch over and with, with a real life example showing how you can use it for your own business, for your affiliate marketing career, how to use it for, with your Facebook ad manager and obviously for e-commerce merchants, how you can integrate it to your Shopify or other things. So I think it's just good to switch over. We have already switched over. So Chase, I'll just give the word to you. And then afterwards, we're going we're gonna to go for a short Q&A. Sure. Well, thank you so much for that introduction. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you all for showing up here today. Um, definitely excited about the partnership with the Affiliate Business Club. Uh, we've known each other for, me and Key have known each other for quite some time, but ultimately the guys that he surrounds himself, uh, Jordan, Jay, um, James, and a lot of the big guys that are inside of this industry certainly cultivate a lot of respect. And, and uh, ultimately, this is how that partnership was cultivated. Now, when we started this journey of building Pay Certify, we really, uh, we've been in payments for over 20 years at this point. Uh, we, are world, we are a worldwide platform, but as building this technology front to back with a full processing, worldwide processing, and card issuing stack, um, uh, as well as a, a roundabout, uh, you know, al allowing us to actually capture the whole entire fraud cycle, life cycle, so you manage all the, the in, ins and outs of being a merchant processor, being in the e-commerce industry. Hey, dude, can we just start this over? I fucked that shit up, dude. So, or Europe, or... Um, so, yeah, being partners with James allowed us to cultivate a front-to-back e-commerce platform that not only supported the e-commerce merchants that are thriving in today's environment, but also the media buyers and ad buyers that are spending money online, pushing all the traffic that all the e-commerce businesses are out there uh, selling to the consumers in the market. Now, virtual cards for agencies and affiliate buyers um, are kind of a must. So if you have more than one campaign, you want to make sure that you're able to manage and issue cards to all of your media buyers. But ultimately, if you're a one person show as well, and you have 10 different campaigns, you want to make sure that you can, you can manage those campaigns quickly and efficiently um, in a streamlined process. So what we're able to do through our platform is we're able to issue cards systematically and automatically so you can buy um, not just media, but any type of vendor payment out there. Obviously, the majority of all the media spend that we have out there, we want to make sure that we're getting cash back on all of those purchases as well. So the traditional virtual card solutions on the market, although you can issue cards, um, you have to have multiple bins. So we have about 14 bins on side of our platform. Now, the difference- Hold up, hold up, Chase, Chase. Start, start back at the top of virtual cards. 
Dude, go can like, we start from the top? This is fucking, <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Go I stopped back, like three fucking four times, huh? Yeah, go back to start at virtual cards like it's a fresh, clean slide and be like, uh, the reason I'm here is to talk about virtual cards. As you probably guessed, virtual cards are all, a virtual credit card or virtual, I don't even know what you would call that. Virtual cards are virtual cards that we issue you. Well, they're Visa uh, MasterCards. Yeah, yeah, virtual cards are virtual Visa and MasterCards that we issue you in the same platform you use to process payments. This is a huge advantage if you want to apply unique payment methods to different accounts and just right. move on. I'll talk about the other shit. Just go into like what it is, <laughs> how it works and all right, the all benefits. Right. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. All right, so where are we starting from now? <laughs> where are we starting from again? Um, You're starting from virtual cards. Okay, virtual cards, got it. Okay, so we created this virtual card platform so media buyers, ad buyers can ultimately officially systematically run their business and issue Visa and MasterCards no matter where they are, if they are in Europe, Canada, or the US. These cards all generate real interchange and you can also use, utilize these for, to pay out commissions no matter where you are in the world as well. So if you have affiliates all over the world, you can also send out commissions through these rails, these Visa MasterCard rails to connect directly to also debit cards as well as real credit cards. So you can earn cash back on the cash back that you're already spending. You can automate your payables as well. And inside of our dashboard, you earn real cash back on those transactions and you can see it in real time. Um, you can manage all of your campaigns and know which actual campaigns they're assigned to with the card inside of your dashboard. So you can see your, your spend on a daily basis, monitor it every week to make sure that you're improving your metrics and ultimately keeping a good eye on what's happening inside of your business. You can trans transfer to any digital wallet instantly. Um, you can transfer to any bank account instantly as long as they have a Visa or MasterCard. And for corporations that are looking to transfer even across lines because of the fact that we're tied into Canada as well as the European market, it allows us to transfer without actually getting cross border. It's a huge, huge advantage to anybody that's doing international payments, but also allows you to become a lot more profitable as an agency because you're earning real cash on all the media that you're spending, no matter how many cards that you create. It, compared to all of the virtual card issue, issuers and wallets that exist in the marketplace today that charge you 2% on the front end of a transaction to actually load the card, they charge you a big monthly fee, they charge you transaction fees, it ends up costing you money. So no matter how much you're spending on a monthly basis, you'd be paying anywhere from 500 to 5,000 to 10,000, depending on your spend. Here with Pay Certify and um, all of the virtual card ecosystem that we've created, you literally never spend a dime. You're actually making money on every single thing that you do. You can create hundreds to thousands of cards and on every single card, you're making real interchange. And for a real world example of how this works, I brought on my man, Jordan Menard, who's uh, a, you know, so a, a recognized media buyer, ad buyer, runs an agency himself and has the experience and know-how uh, that you guys know and give you some insight into what's happening inside of our dashboard and how it can be a positive impact for your business today. Thanks, Chase. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Jordan Menard, like Chase said. Uh, I'm the CEO of Longform Creative. We're a boutique agency out in Southern California. We only handle really high-end clientele who are spending a lot. And with that come a lot of weird complications. Um, I know uh, most of my agency owners or my, my e-com guys out there have dealt with the difficulty of band accounts and band accounts um, don't even, it doesn't even necessarily mean that you broke policy. Um, it just means that you did something the algorithm flagged you for. The problem is when that happens, it flags everything in that account. So it flags the profile that was working with it. It flags the ads, the ad account, and of course the payment method. Now in the, you know, if you're going to your provider and getting a ton of payment methods, every single time this happens, it can become exhausting. And I know uh, media buyers, agency owners who have like big stacks of credit cards held by rubber bands. And it just seems like, you know, I, I remember looking at how bulky and how insane that would be. And what if you lost that? And what if somebody stole two of them? You know, there's just so many, so many flaws in that model. And now it's cool to see that this being addressed. So this is actually a screenshot of my dashboard. This is, um, you know, I have clients that 
uh, you know, we just set up their, the BM for them due to uh, they're really, you know, really, really big companies that have, move slowly and they just prepay the ad spend. I put it all on a virtual card. Why I love this and why uh, there's a big advantage to it is, uh, Chase, go to the next slide. Um, you get 2% cash back on all ad spend. And like Chase said, it's all business spend, but you can create the card so easily. It's like two clicks and you can put any name you want on the card. And we'll talk about that in a second. You, you have one single dashboard that manages it. And this is like uh, from the past week that I was using these on this. And it's just you, you, the pending cash back just stacks. It just goes up and it's cool. You don't do anything, you know. You, you notice it when you get a bill on Facebook, you're kind of stoked because you're like, oh, you get some of that money back, especially if the ad spend was spent profitably. Um, but really what I want to talk the most about um, is the, go, Chase, go to the next slide. This, the, the superior ad ma management strategy. Like I said before, anybody who's really pushing real weight with traffic has dealt with approvals, disapprovals and policy at some point in their career. The reason why I like virtual cards, um, I, I mean, everybody likes cash, but the reason why I like them is they're super easy to make, manage, and I can put whatever name and address I want on the card, which is issued by Visa or MasterCard, so that's how it looks when it gets put into the BM, and that allows me to assign an admin to an ad account that works in my agency, whatever, without having a real physical card for it. And that way, if the account ever does get disapproved or the ads get disapproved and the account gets banned, the, you know, uh, the admin of the account who can just be an employee will also own the payment method. So when they go to uh, appeal that decision, they'll request, and the, one of the first questions Facebook asks is, is this your account? If you say no, the chances of getting it back are very slim. If you say yes, then they're going to look at your appeal and you have a chance to get it back. All of those things matter. The more accounts that you get banned and don't get back are gonna go against you in the long run. They're gonna go against your actual profile, uh, which can cause bans uh, just by you know, that person. That person being on an account can flag it and not necessarily ban it, but it, it can know it's hot. And so um, when you have the virtual card platform, and I use a pay certify for their processing with the fraud protection, um, and the chargeback mitigation, because if you, everyone knows what happens if your chargebacks get too high and you lose a mid, that's a nightmare. And so Pay Certify has, you know, chargeback solutions baked into the processing and it's all in one platform. So I, I like that I can manage everything in one platform, but I, the, the fact that I can just create new virtual cards that are not associated with anything, any other account, they're completely clean and I can organize it so easily and keep my, you know, spend on just, you know, everything's very cleanly laid out. Um, it really uh, makes running everything so much more automated. You don't have to go through the annoying things of giving people credit card numbers and, you know, did they save it on their browser? It just that that is gone. You just, you know, you can put it in there and you can put whoever's name on it. They don't have access to it, but they have all the access they need from a business manager standpoint to make whatever happen. And so um, I know a lot of e-com guys out there are probably wondering, you know, all of this sounds nice, but how does this integrate with my card? How does this integrate with um, what I'm doing now? And for that, I'm going to pass back to Chase. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate that. And just to you know, elaborate on you know, the virtual cards, there are virtual card companies out there, but none of them, none of them give you cash back. So not only can you create thousands of cards on, uh, you know, across Canada, Europe, and the United States, but you can make money on all of those transactions, which nobody else does. And they don't have a seamless environment where you can manage the whole entire platform front to back. So as a payments platform, we really have built out an ecosystem that allows a, cons uh, that a, allows a merchant, supports a merchant front to back. So we automate the whole entire process as far as fraud uh, prevention and automation. So we control the front side of the transaction and eliminate and eradicate the front, uh, front side fraud that could, uh, could occur on the, on the actual account. And it's, of course, if a chargeback does slip through for some particular reason, we automate that whole entire back end process as well. So if anyone has taken any time at all to actually fight a chargeback in any which way, 17% statistically worldwide, 
only 17% of, of merchants actually win those chargebacks. So after you spend hours of time actually compiling that data and trying to fight the chargeback, you typically are going to lose on 17% of the time. You only, it is the only times that you win. So you want to have a frictional environment where you don't have to spend additional time to do that. But of course, you want to integrate with all of the most uh, the, 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 the biggest shopping carts out there on the market. Talking about Shopify, of course. WooCommerce, Magento, Zincar, BigCommerce. Um, we're direct API as well as a hosted page. So no matter how you're formatting your business or running your business, we can integrate into the largest shopping carts out there and uh, the, the ecosystem as well as direct API and custom integrations. Or if you're just putting up a page and you want to start taking cards, we can actually slap up a hosted form uh, to make it very easy for you and systematic, even if you're running a reoccurring billing uh, transactional business. So uh, flawlessly integrating is obviously an ease to market is very important uh, for the success uh, of your campaigns, but not only scaling your campaigns to the next level. Um, why we exist now, of course, we came here to talk about virtual cards and that is the, you know, that's one of the biggest use cases that we want to talk about with affiliates and media buyers, because ultimately you guys are spending money. Uh, sometimes a lot of your, your own money, but sometimes you're spending the client's money in both ways. You're able to capitalize and monetize on those uh, interchange rebates that's generated on all those transactional purchases. Now you don't have to use this just for media. You can utilize this for any uh, expense. In fact, it doesn't even have to be business related. As long as, they're, uh, as, long as you're paying for it uh, through our system, you can earn up to 2% cash back. It doesn't matter if it's your freaking rent or if your Comcast bill. You can do any of that and earn cash back through our system and any e-commerce point of sale uh, transaction to increase your AOV. Um, we obviously are a worldwide payments uh, facilitator. So we can run payments in, uh, for merchants that are located in the US, Canada, and Europe. Of course, we support other countries as well. And if you are a merchant that's taking payments with us, you'll never be inhibited for your ability to take uh, payments from any other country worldwide. Um, we just are focused on these three um, areas as far as putting merchants up and stacking the payment, sta uh, payment, stacking the payment ecosystem for all of them front to back. Um, a big part of our ecosystem is we use the best in breed of fraud protection. So we don't claim to be a fraud protection agency like Stripe. So Stripe is a company that tries, and I'm just going to call that out because they are a payments company, not a fraud protection company, but they try to be all things. Now, when you try to be all things, you really just can't do them all well. You know, we do payments very, very well. We do card issuing very, very well, and that's what we're very good at but I don't pretend to be a fraud protection agency. In fact, we have our own proprietary algorithms, but we combine it with the best in breed of those services. So count, uh, pay, chargebacks 911, those are all integrated into our platform and we utilize those with our own proprietary mix to make those products and those platforms better. But if you as a merchant try to integrate into any of those ecosystems outside of our platform, it would cost you tens of thousands of dollars and months of time. And as we know, in the e-commerce economy and any e economy, time is the, the biggest thing that matters. And it's really, if you're trying to go to market, if you're trying to scale a business and you're trying to do anything quickly, good luck trying to do that, trying to integrate with these outside agencies uh, because all you're gonna be doing is delay your time to market. And through Pay Certify, we can ensure that you have the best in breed of services as well as the best payments provider with direct merchant accounts to allow you to scale, but allow you to utilize these cards um, in um, different types of settings. And there's so many use cases for virtual cards today. The, the use cases are unlimited and we're thinking about new use cases all the time. So whether you're a payments platform, an e-commerce merchant, an affiliate or media buyer, um, you're a payable platform. There's so many different ways that you can utilize our ecosystem to earn additional profit for your business. And that's all money that's created literally out of thin air for you. And then we're giving back to you on a monthly basis there's nobody out, th out there in the marketplace that's doing that. So you have a prime opportunity to do nothing different in your business today without changing your business model. You can make additional capital without changing anything about your business today, except for utilizing the pay certified suite of tools. Now we want you to try what we're doing here. In fact, we're so excited about it that we're willing to give you $100 to $1,000, depending on how much you load your account up with. If you go to residualmoney.com slash pay certified, I think they're going to put up a button for you guys to click so you don't have to put all this inside of your web browser. Um, and ultimately, if you go in there and register your account and you're attached to the affiliate club, we are going to give you um, a generous uh, bonus in your account. 
uh, once you actually get activated and registered. So we're very excited that you guys took the time to actually learn more about what we're doing here. And of course, want to make sure that uh, we turn this back over to uh, Aki, who's uh, been so generous to let us get on here and talk about what we're doing. And uh, again, if you, if, we're, if you get on to the site and utilize this affiliate link, we will be pushing a bonus into your account of 100 to $1,000, depending on what you load your cards up with. And of course, you can start utilizing that in this market today, as soon as you register. So without further ado, I'll pass this back over to my man, um, Aki, who can finish this off here. And uh, it, it, it just sounds amazing to me. It's like uh, you're actually earning money while you're actually finally, actually you're finally earning money and normally you're, you're throwing money away. Uh, we're not throwing literally, but like uh, I always used to be like, why do I, why am I, why am I paying so much for transaction costs? And uh, it, it, I felt like banks and everyone's just robbing me even more than I already been robbed from, you know, but. Uh, if, you, if you think about it, Aki, not to interrupt you, but you know, virtual cards, credit cards have been around for a long time. You know, the credit card that you have in your pocket right now, the majority of banks aren't giving you any of that interchange back. In fact, any virtual card issue that you're using on the market today, either they're not a real issuer like us that pledges hundreds of millions of dollars with the banks every year. So most people don't have the, you know, the kahunis to do that, but, you know, the other thing is, is that they just aren't capable of doing that. So because of the fact that we signed those contracts and we obligated ourselves to do this, we obligate ourselves to do that for the benefit of you, the, the ad buyers, the e-commerce merchants, so we can help you guys become more profitable and utilize interchange arbitrage that's never been done before. Uh, so you'll see if you go in the market today, there's absolutely zero virtual card issues for, for media and ad buyers that's actually giving 2% interchange back by, for creating cards. So. Uh, it's it's man, it's very interesting, and I, I like the fact that you guys are also integrated with the guys from Chargeback Help and Nine One Try. I know the guys personally, also. It's uh, I know they're doing a very good job uh, for for the industry, and and it's a headache. And I say like a, like you lose a lot of time, and without time, it's the energy you lose, right? Because it's it's better to put your energy somewhere else, and and instead of like working with all these bullshit things where you're just like, man, I don't want to deal with this, and now it's like integrated. It's uh, it definitely looks amazing. I will definitely kind of get, I will use it myself. I'm already using it like with you guys starting now. And uh, I will definitely 